Allow me to promulgate an esoteric cogitation. I promise I'll beware of platitudinous ponderosities. I'll strive for clarified conciseness with concatenated cogency. Eschew all jejun battlement, and most of all, I won't use big words. Well, I'm going to keep the language simple. In fact, so simple that we're going to go on a musical journey, if you will, to find one of the rarest of all creations, the musical unicorn, the one-note solo. Now, I'm not talking about a vocal like most rap songs these days, or almost the entire recorded discography of the Smiths. What I'm really talking about is an honest to God one-note solo. Now, in order for that to happen, it means that it needs to occur in a place in the song or the composition where we expect a solo to occur. All the stages have been set up. We are ready to receive from on high the virtuosic prowess of whoever is going to deliver the solo, and yet it's only one note. This is very rare. Now, I want to talk to you about some of the artists that are featured in this and the reason why I chose the last song that you're going to hear on the playlist, to me, is the greatest one-note solo that has ever been recorded so far, and that I know about. The reason why that one is number one is not only because it is a true one-note solo, and it does happen at a point in the song where you are expecting a solo, but it was a huge hit. It was actually a breakout hit for this band, and is one of my favorite bands of all time. And that record in particular is one of the greatest records from the 80s. You're going to hear music from Sparks, U2, The Pixies, Slim Harpo, great blues artist that you may not be familiar with. And this track in particular would have been my number one choice had it been a bigger hit. But it satisfies the criteria that I've established 100%. It's amazing. It's haunting, despite the fact that his vocal sounds like Cleveland Brown from The Family Guy. <laughs> you can be the judge of that one. Be sure to let me know what you think your favorite one-note solo is, because I'm always interested in learning from others and also hearing some new music that I may not have come across. Have fun, and I'll see you next time.